Hi, and welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. With the scattering medium material, you can simulate particle scattering to create effects like fog or smoke. This can be useful for visualizing beams of light. Select the geometry you want to add the scattering medium material to. If you don't have a dedicated piece of geometry prepared, you can import simple geometry into your scene from the main menu, Edit, Add Geometry. Let's add in a cube. Position and scale the cube to contain all the other objects in the scene. Once the cube is in place, double click it, open the material type drop down in the material tab and select scattering medium under advanced. The scattering medium material can be adjusted in a couple of ways. The most basic parameters are transmission, transparency distance, density and multiple scattering. Transmission controls the overall color of the material. When light enters the surface, it would take on the color set here. The amount of color that you see in this material is highly dependent on the color density setting as well. So if you have set a color in the transmission, but it looks too faint, skip down to the color density section. Transparency distance controls the depth of the color selected in the transmission setting, depending on the thickness of the part to which the material is applied. Use the transparency distance to make the transmission color more or less saturated and prominent. A lower setting will show the color more in thin areas of the model and a high setting will make the color faint in the thin areas. Density determines how close the particles are. Higher density values will make the scattering medium seem more solid. So if you find the overall look of the fog or smoke that you are creating too thin, try bumping up the density. Multiple scattering will make the rays bounce multiple times inside the geometry. This will create a more physically correct representation of the material, but it affects the processing time a lot. By default, the scattering medium is even across the entire geometry. To add in some variation, select the textures tab in the material tab, select the density texture slot and click the texture drop down. Select volume map to use an open VDB file as the texture or select one of the 3D procedural textures. For a random foggy look, Try using the noise fractal and adjust the scale accordingly. The density texture will act as a sort of mask on the material. Where the texture is black, no particles will be shown, and the amount of particles will increase where the texture is lighter. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.